Aiming Higher is a partnership between Orchestras Live, City of London Symphonia, uh, Luton Music Service and The Mix, the music education hub, the UK Centre for Carnival Arts and we also have support from the Royal Opera House Bridge. Uh, Orchestras Live has been producing projects in Luton for several years now uh, and each of, each of the projects has had young people at its heart. So we've looked for opportunities to give young people uh, the chance to compose, to perform, to present um, performances, to event manage, to be technicians, to be ambassadors. Um, really looking for every opportunity for young people to be involved in shaping and producing an event as well as taking part in it. CLS have been working with Luton Music Service for the last few years, so this is um, the next instalment in, a, in a, a kind of legacy of projects that's been happening. It's really important to the orchestra to do this kind of work and to have the continuity with partners like Luton Music Service and Orchestras Live and to get to revisit an area and really actually feel like we're contributing to the um, music in that community. Loose Music Service wanted to uh, put together a project which we could use in primary school, whole class teaching. And so we spoke to Orchestras Live about commissioning a work by, uh, to John K. Miles to write us something that we could use um, as a teaching tool throughout the, the, the year and then culminating in a big concert together here at the UK Centre for Carnival Arts in Luton. And that happened last summer and um, was really successful and we had to do two performances and we had 22 schools taking part. So this year we thought it would be really nice to continue the theme of Carnival um, but to create some variations for our more senior groups within Luton Music Service. So we've now involved Luton Youth Cantores, our girls choir, the concert band, Luton Youth Concert Band and um, Luton Youth Jazz Orchestra. And then John K. Miles came down with some workshops with each of those groups and then John took the information away and came up with three amazing variations. I had written none of the music before I met the groups, so I just brought in the initial rhythm we learned that rhythm we had, we, with a jazz band, we, we worked a bit on improvising, did a little bit of composition in little groups, came back, took that away and, and, and then developed that into full piece. It wasn't fully formed by any, any sense, but I was kind of getting a sense of the ensemble, um, getting a sense of, of, of the sorts of things that they like, um, the sorts of things they can do. And, um, you know, in limited time, there's, 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 there's so much you can do. I took some of the ideas that worked, some of the ideas that connected, and, um, and, and just tried to feed that into the music. <laughs> There's a richer range of, of young musicians involved this time. Some very advanced, talented young jazz and wind band and uh, singing um, musicians. Combined with some new groups, uh, a steel band uh, and young musicians from a special school who are using technology.
One of the really lovely things about this project is that there's this lovely pathway between the beginner groups, so Foxdale Steel Pans and um, Lady Zia Werner Digital Group, through to the more advanced students in the youth ensembles, um, in the choir, in the concert band and the jazz orchestra, um, going right up through to our professional musicians in the CLS orchestra. By making those pathways really clear, there's benefits for everyone involved in the project. There's a lot of skill sharing going on. Young people are learning um, about the music industry, um, about performance, about composing, about all those kind of skills that they're gaining. They're also hopefully getting a lot of inspiration about working with a world-class orchestra. Well, I think the, the, the aims of collaborating with any group, I mean, um, and it goes for these groups too, is that although it's been a quite quick-fire process, the idea is to sort of give some kind of ownership and some kind of internalisation of the material, some kind of input from the participants to the music they're actually going to be playing. So um, they feel more connected to the music, I guess. It has been an amazing experience to work with a professional orchestra and to be able to kind of put your skills to good use because we've done all this practice, like building up to concerts at the end of term and things, and then to be able to do something different, which we haven't really done before, is a really interesting thing and I've really enjoyed it. It's been such an inspiring experience, like the fact that they're just on that level that you've never really seen before up close. Like you can see it in concerts and on the telly, but to see it in person, to be able to work with them and talk to them about it, is such an incredible experience and it's so rare as well for like youth groups to be able to have that opportunity and it's been really great. This kind of thing where it brings people together and working with someone you know, as, as skillful and as creative as John Miles, the composer, and the, the orchestral musicians, can only have a really positive, inspirational effect on, on people, and we're seeing it here today in this project. Definitely the whole project has really helped to inspire me and some others I think as well to kind of pursue a career in professional music, to kind of aim higher because you know that it's possible that these people are actually doing it and that it's actually achievable and that, I think that is the, great, the greatest part of it.